The world's population is set to reach 9 billion by 2050 and global GDP is expected to double. This growth will require vast quantities of sustainable building materials for housing and infrastructure. Concrete is the ideal material to meet many of these challenges. It is low carbon, extremely durable, made from resources that are globally available and capable of integrating large quantities of waste and byproducts in its manufacturing. Yet the sheer quantity of cement produced worldwide puts it among the top contributors of human-made CO2 emissions. This project can play a very important role for the development of the Indian cement industry. The cement industry has been doubling its capacity every 8 to 12 years over the last few decades and we expect to continue doing that over the next few decades as well. But as we do that, we would like to do that at a lower cost. We would like to do that in a more sustainable way. Furthermore, consumption is set to rise dramatically in coming decades as developing and emerging countries follow their development paths. We need low carbon solutions that will help manage our resources. If the level of aspiration and expectation is to be met, then we honestly do not have the natural resources. We cannot overlook meeting the expectations of very large population. And in terms of resources, we obviously have to make the most efficient use of resources. LC3 is an innovative cement that harnesses the synergetic effect of clinker substitution by a combination of calcined clays and limestone to obtain cement with similar properties to ordinary Portland cement, whilst reducing CO2 emissions and saving natural resources. Calcined clay and limestone are already commonly used as supplementary cementitious materials. The major innovation of LC3 technology is combining the use of abundantly available low-grade kaolin clay with a further 15% of limestone, with no reduction in mechanical performance. India has got uh, very large uh, reserves of uh, kaolin clay. More interestingly, you know, where the fly ash uh, availability is uh, scarce relatively, the clay availability is there. With current clinker production facilities, the amount of cement from an identical amount of limestone can be increased twofold. Quarry life can be therefore considerably extended. The initial trials have shown that uh, the plants can use existing outlay, uh, especially for calcination. Uh, the additional investment required is not as much as probably putting up a new cement plant. And the fact that LC3 is reducing your clinker usage to nearly half means that you can double your capacity from the same size plant. LC3 can be produced with existing manufacturing equipment, leading to only marginally increased investments. With the existing capacity of clinker, we can increase the production of uh, about 56%. So it's like, like making a new cement plant without actually making it, only creating these calciners and, and everything, and using the existing capacity. Reduced clinker content, decreased fuel consumption, and the fact that limestone does not have to be heated contribute to lowering emissions. If we can tap into this potential for calcine clays, which are very abundantly available, and in fact the only materials that are available in the quantities we need, we estimate you can save conservatively about 300 million tons of CO2 per year. At the same time, LC3 is less costly than ordinary Portland cement. It is thus a very attractive and feasible option to satisfy both development and environmental objectives. If we have a product which is going to be even slightly cheaper than the existing cement, considering the volume of cement that is used, it adds up to a lot of uh, money. The main objective of the LC3 project is to position it as a mainstream general use cement in the global cement market. LC3 is designed as a public-private partnership and will accelerate the uptake of this technology by acting as a neutral and scientifically credible partner. You don't need to train up people even for using it. No real training is required for its use or for its application use. 
nothing. This project is managed by the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland in collaboration with an international team of researchers from the University of Las Villas in Cuba, three prominent Indian institutes of technology, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras and IIT Bombay, and technology incubation partner, Technology and Action for Rural Advancement, New Delhi, with support from Dr. Anjan Kumar Chatterjee and various prominent cement companies in India. LC3 is supported by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC. This is one of the activities of SDC which is very important. So LC3 for us is one of these innovations that potentially, that the potential of it can be absolutely enormous. Because in SDC we still love to think that we can change the world. And these are the small tiny things that can help change the world for the better. LC3 combines fundamental science with a practical, viable solution that will help build a more sustainable future.